Hello everyone, sorry for the lack of videos lately. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the Ampdan 1 Viewer Special 2 video in the interim period. It's about two and a half hours long if you haven't seen it and it's quite funny. So, if you like the Ampdan 1 material with myself and Rogamp, I suggest you check it out and the link is in the description. But anyway, um, actually not up to making full-fledged videos quite yet. I had LASIK surgery last Friday on the 24th. So I'm still kind of recovering from that. Vision's getting better every day, so hopefully we'll get back to making virus videos soon. But in the meantime, I figured I'd make a few sort of uh, frequently asked questions, you know, frequently asked how-to tutorial videos that have been asked of me over the years. And first of all, as you can probably guess from the title, this one is about how to get shared folders and other virtual machine additions in MS-DOS, which I've used in a few of my older videos. So if you want to interact with your host computer on MS-DOS with a virtual machine, this is Virtual PC 2007. And this is what you gotta do. So, on your floppy drive, you can capture a floppy disk image, and with Virtual PC 2004, the old version, actually came a Virtual Machine Editions floppy disk for MS-DOS. And the link to this whole Virtual PC 2004 editions is in the description as well, you can download it from me. So when you get this, go ahead and check out your floppy drive. We gotta see what we got on here. So we got source files, and we got dos add.bat. So let's try running this batch file and see what we got. Alright, we got a virtual machine editions installer. Do you want to install it? Yes we do. Okay. You have successfully installed DOS Virtual Machine Editions. Please eject the DOS Virtual Machine Editions virtual floppy disk and restart the virtual machine. Alright, we can do that. Alt Dell, Control Alt Delete, go ahead and restart. And now if you want to set up virtual PC shared folder, now that you've installed the additions, you can click on the settings for your VM while it is running. You gotta be sure to do that. Go to share folders and you can share whatever folder you like. So go ahead and share my virus folder. You can ch check share every time. That'll make sure it always pops up when you reboot your PC. And that's all there is to it. You can now access your drive and you can do whatever you would with other virtual PC shared folders but in MS-DOS. I uh, don't know if this would work in any other virtual PC software. This has only been tested on VPC 2007 from Microsoft. So that's what I usually prefer for older versions of Windows and MS-DOS whenever I need to use a virtual machine. So hopefully this has been informative and we'll have a few more parts in this sort of FAQ series coming soon. And, sort of like Rogamp, if you all are interested, I would be glad to do a question and answer video. So if you'd like to see that, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And we can definitely work that out and get one going. Alright, thanks for watching.